uh, wanted to talk about Aaron Gettings' head blown off first. Spoiler warning! I mean, we just mentioned that, but... You know, Why like, would you uh, already... Change. You already said the... You already said the spoiler. Welcome to the Attack on Titan manga finale episode. It's me, Josh. And I'm Annika. Sit back, relax, and grab some snacks. Listen and hopefully laugh at us as we begin the 10th episode of Popcorn Chatter. Yay, I got it right. <laughs> got it right after how many... We just rehearsed like twice. Yeah. Well, so I think that, I was that's good. I was up a lot in rehearsals, but yeah. So... Kept saying this episode, first episode. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's kind of like the first episode, you know? Because today... We're revisiting the first, so it's Attack on Titan. But yeah. it's the manga edition. Yeah. yeah. Yay. Okay. So, before we begin anything, since this is the manga episode for Attack on Titan, we would like to give a spoiler warning for this whole episode because we obviously will be talking about the non-animated chapters of the manga which is if you want to start the manga like right now it's around one chapter 118 or 119 i think that's where the season 4 part 1 ended and until 139 so stop here and read the manga good luck <laughs> okay so with that yeah. being said let's get right into it um <laughs> sorry yeah. uh, i was getting notifications in this card I'll just get this off later. Notification. <laughs> It's okay. Where is that? As, this is another fun. This is this is another fun fact about Josh. He's a Discord boy, so Discord is great. Anyway, going Discord back to the manga. So, fun. so I guess I, I, you know, I, I was thinking of like where we should like start this, and it's not really where season four. I mean, it is, but like you know. I uh, wanted to talk about Aaron getting his head blown off first. Spoiler warning! I mean, we just mentioned that, but you know, it's why like would you already? Thing. You already said the. You already said the spoiler before the actual it's warning. Like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I if anybody knows me, I'm like terrible at like keeping in spoilers. I just like say for sure. Thing. If you if you heard the most previous episode, the most recent episode, the yeah. My Hero Academia episode, you basically spoiled me on. Blank, blank, I blank. Not, I'm not I telling not, you. Yes, not. you did. No, no, no. If I if you don't think about it, it didn't happen. But yes. But, <laughs> you know, because of that, because of that, I haven't even continued my hero. I only reached the first episode, I think. Yeah. Be, I mean, anyway. Anyway. Back to Attack on Titan. Anyway. So, back on Attack on Titan. Yeah. Aaron gets his so, head blown off. I remember reading this when I was like, okay, in La Salle, you know, that we call the first year's frosh, but I was in my first year in La Salle, and you know, mm. during my class, I was like, you know what? I haven't read Attack on Titan in a while. I should start reading it. And it just so happened, like as I was reading it, like the latest chapter was that chapter, and I was just like, yeah, oh, okay. I guess that happened. Aaron's, I guess, quote unquote, dead. <laughs> yeah. So I guess what's your, you know, before we continue, what's your thoughts about, uh, Aaron? You know, the whole thing, the whole getting scene. his head blown off. Yeah. Um. I I how do I say this? Like, I guess this is another strike for Gabby. <laughs> Basically, Gabby strikes again. She yeah. <laughs> her shooting skills on point. You know, just head chopped off cleanly. You know, I I I I found that kind of funny. Now that I think about it, like at the moment, at the moment, my reaction when reading this whole chapter, it kind of like brought me back to season one. Where Eren got eaten by a titan in the like first few episodes, and then like in my head, I'm just like the shock of, huh? He's the main character. How is he gonna die? Why is he dying already? Say so, practically almost the same reaction for this episode at least, and yeah. The, but rereading that chapter just a while ago, I really liked how that moment was set up and. It was really intense, so like I really yes. hope that they animated it. Uh, they animated well and like keep the suspense. I'm I'm sure Mappa will do a great job as they have done. I'm so having, yeah, I'm having like imaginations of Aaron's head <laughs> spinning or something. Yeah, back in the air. You know when when that came out, like you know you know the hype with uh, people hating Gabby and stuff. 
Like people yeah. were like, "Oh, Gab should have broken her shoulder or something." It was like a big. I mean, I guess it's true. You know, it was a big sniper gun, but you know, yeah. like people would like go to like lengths just to, like flame her or something, which is fine. I mean, yeah, maybe it's not fine, but you know, for me, I. Yeah, people have their opinions, but me, I want to defend Gabby. She is a miseducated child. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, honestly, I think Gabby is one of the well-written characters of the show. Yeah, I really like how her heart kind of turned now. Yeah. Something, oh, this is like, I'm sharing off topic, but you know, something that <laughs> I, I guess like uh, with Gabby that I don't think worked was making people empathize. Uh, empathize. Empath- oh, I can't words. Making empathize people, or empathize? Empathize, yeah, they're empathize. Making people empathize. Because, like, uh-huh. I think it got the other effect where instead of people being like, oh, you know, poor Gabby, she doesn't know, or, you know, she doesn't know what happened and stuff. People are, like, yeah. hating on her. So, yeah. I guess, like, other than that, you know, Gabby's a cool character. But that being said, uh, you know, that moment when she had, I guess, like, her hero moment. And I, I mean, yeah, I guess she had a hero moment of, like, blowing Aaron's head off. Because, you know, he was, like, the acting antagonist during that arc. It was, it was really, like, yeah. that whole sequence. I was, like, okay, uh, basically, a big fight occurred, and that was a climax. And I thought that was a good way to end it before, you know, going to the, what's gonna happen next, which we will be yeah. found upon later. A huge, okay. Yeah, it was uh, a good, it was a good send-off to the next arc of yeah. Even though everything else. Was, even though according to Wiki it was the same arc, but you know, I guess it's fine. It's yeah, arcs yeah. overwhelm, maybe. I don't know. Filler, filler, filler parts. I don't. Yeah. I think it's a good stand. Anyway, that was a really good, great moment. So. Okay. Anyway, after Aaron's head gets blown off, uh, apparently, like I guess this is like really bullshit. I don't really know if this is how science works, but apparently, you know, why Zeke still access pads even though Aaron's head got blown off from the explanation was like before Aaron truly died or something uh, yeah yeah you know uh, before Aaron truly died I think I think that is how science respond there's that moment I don't know there's like very few fleeting moments before you're practically brain dead since his head is not even attached to his heart body. anymore so yeah. and the heart is the one that functions the whole body powers it maybe but, like a few seconds yeah and- so, you know, I a guess few like, seconds. In that case, it's fine. But you know, that happened, and I feel like I feel like in the anime, anime, they're gonna slow down it, <laughs> slow mo it, it for like, sure. Like see it. So like, yeah. Then, so we're gonna get so confused with like the timing of my like life. Yeah. Loud. But uh, and, yeah. So pads. So I keep moving on to the. Yeah, big reveal the paths and explain, the coordinates. Like, this part, okay. this was, no, I mean, we don't I have kinda, to explain it. Yeah, I didn't have to explain it. But like, I guess like for me, I kind of saw this coming. Like, mm-hmm. finally, because I think we got a glimpse of it when, what's her name? Ymir? The, not the, okay, it's going to get confused. It's called Ymir. Yeah, it's called Ymir. Founder Ymir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Founder Ymir. Ymir. So, it's called Ymir. Uh, you know, she turned into human. I think we got a glimpse yeah. of past <clears throat> during that scene. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a really cool wo- moment for me because, I mean, okay, I guess it was kind of like you know pushing the fact that scientific time moves differently here, you know, is part of storytelling. But I, I kind of liked it in its presence here at Attack on Titan and like you know with how they're all related and this and that. And I just thought that was like a very genius addition, and I would have loved to see it being utilized more. I mean, I guess it was utilized heavy in the finale. But it was utilized a lot. Yeah, a lot. But like, I'm saying that uh, them actually, you know, traversing through time and stuff, like being in pads. Oh. Like, I guess the well, we got the that movie. in the really, really end parts of the yeah, manga. The finale. Him. Which we'll be talking yeah. About, I guess which we're talking about now. Yeah. So, yeah. I oh yeah. for me at least for the paths, I also I I was on your I I. I agree with you. I kind of saw it coming as well. It wasn't as surprising to me as <laughs> how I thought I would be. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of figured it out. Everything's connected, yeah. you know, and time travel. It's all like that. And I, I just really enjoyed this that that reveal because I'm nerdy as hell. So 
I I know I've I've learned about this principle in another class, a literature class, and mm-hmm. it's about it's called the oh no I don't know this is a another German name I think I think this is German but uh, it's called it's a Novikov principle of self consistency. Okay. If, what does that mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's a it's a sciencey principle or if it's a philosophy principle, but it's basically it it scientifically kind of explains time mm. as Attack on Titan tells it as mm. which is basically yeah, past, right. present and future is happening at the same time uh, and if you try to change one that's not possible. Everything is happening at the same time. So like, like that's the type of time Okay, I don't want to say time travel, but like you know, the type of time travel rules that they used for the for yeah the yeah like how okay. Aaron uh, when Aaron and Zeke was traveling back to like uh, Grisha's memories or Aaron's memories. It's ba- and how Aaron basically manipulates Grisha, Grisha, his father. <laughs> well, which we'll talk about later on. Like that whole sequence and explanation. That's basically something similar to the principle of self consistency. So, like me as a geek, knowing, uh, knowing a sciencey principle and knowing this thing is in the literature that I like. Oh, that's so nice. The connection. Yeah. I'm a geek for those things. So, yeah. For me, yeah. Uh, something I wanted to add, though, was, like, if it's, okay, I don't want to, like, confuse my, like, have my brain implode just in the episode, but, like, time travel <laughs> rules and stuff, you know? Yeah. Like, if you think about it, Aaron was responsible, was, okay, like, you can say now, oh, you know, everything's written, he can't change anything, so it's not his fault, but at the same time, if you look, if you look at it from another point of view, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, it's still Aaron who said, okay, spoiler alert again, this is kind of a wild one, but Aaron <laughs> is kind of like responsible for the death of everyone. Yeah, the yeah, death yeah. Because of his mom, he kind of did, you know. He, yeah, he did that. He did, that. He, he did uh, Bertolpo. Ber- Bertol. <laughs> Bertolpo? Bert. Oh, God, I'll call him Bert. Bert's death as well. I read that. So yeah. I also get that. It's, he, yeah, he kind of manipulates everything too. So, yeah. like, even though, yeah, it's like, it just sucks for him because, like, you know, I'm sure na, he wouldn't have done it if, you know, if he knew what was going to happen. But, you know, it, I guess it happened in some other time. But the, and he can't yeah, but, it. yeah, no, but the fact that he knows that it's going to happen in the future, he just needed yeah. to piece it together, give the push still, you know? Yeah. yeah and it can't, it still fits. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, I guess, like, in that sense, I guess it's his fault, which is kind of weird, though, because, like, I remember him, especially like in the last chapter, one thirty nine. I remember him saying that, uh, like he wasn't sure if he was gonna win in the end or something, which kind of confused me because if everything was happening at the same time and he had access to you know Titan powers, maybe the, we should uh-huh, know that. Yeah. But yeah, maybe saying. it. Maybe he only he only saw into the future far enough till he died. Like, be, well, we already know that he's dead. So like, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! <laughs> he, he, die, he dies. Alright, he, die, he dies. But maybe that's the catch with his powers because mm. because of the whole fact that he doesn't know if his plan really did work in the end. Mm. That just means like the future, the powers of the attack the, the attack titan. It's only until the point where he lives, and since he dies, he really doesn't know. So like. No one knows anymore the future since oh, all true. titans have been eradicated. I don't know if it's a theory or if I just missed something and that's actually what happened. But you know, that's a pretty interesting <laughs> take on it. And we we both we both read the last chapter last just chapter. like yeah. an hour ago just to refresh our minds. Yeah. But yeah, that's at least that's what I think right now, or at least that's how I'm seeing it. I also thought of it just now because of what you said. So Actually, yeah, though, like, thank you. It hit different for me, like in reading the last chapter. I was like, oh. reading it. I guess Same. all that happened, but like you know, I think the final like nail in the coffin, like where I would like have a, you know, an emotional breakdown. So it's gonna be animated, you know, music, visuals. Oh yeah. So yeah. Visuals, everything. Whenever, whenever that is, I guess. So <laughs> I guess twenty twenty two, twenty twenty three. I know it comes I mean, out twenty twenty two. Yeah, they so, said it was like sometime next year. It's already. Yeah, I just realized it's already twenty twenty one. Ah, pandemic. Anyway, <laughs> uh, another uh, thing. I'm I'd losing like my twenties. <laughs> another thing. Yeah, I'd sorry. Like to talk about. I guess like this already happened in the anime, but you know, it, I guess it cut off because you know 
it's gonna be there's gonna be a part two in the anime. So mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Levi gets kind of nerfed. I mean, no, Levi does get nerfed. It's not kind of; he does get nerfed. And okay, I, w- I would like you to go first. What What are your thoughts about this? Levi getting nerfed. Yeah. Uh, I kind of really thought Levi died. <laughs> I've like same. at that. I mean, okay. At At that moment, I really thought. Okay, for the record, though, I didn't. I didn't watch the last three episodes mm-hmm. of the of season four. I was supposed to today for this, but I kind of forgot I got busy. And I don't know if it's animated already, like him being blown up. Yes, right? That's animated is, already? Yeah. Is. But so like, like, you never really get to see the aftermath of it yet. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I thought, well, manga wise or at least based on spoilers, I thought Hanji would die first and then Levi. But no, he dies, dies, quote unquote, dies. But yeah, he actually survived, and I was like, "Wow, Ackermans really can't be fully killed <laughs> or something." Yeah, there's just something about them, or I guess. But I mean, I don't know, there's not there's nothing much. I mean, that's kind of sad that oh, humanity's strongest soldiers sad like injured now. I guess I guess I guess why I wanted to talk about why I wanted to talk about it is do you think he would have made a bigger impact in the finale and? If you think the finale uh, would have been different if he was healthy, no. Really? Um, maybe I don't know. I think it, wait, actually no. I think because they won either way, so I think they still would win with Levi <laughs> there. They won either way. So that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. but like you know, I think it would definitely like go down differently. Like I think less people would be injured. I guess at least, and I don't think Levi would like. I actually think it would just be easier for them. So. Yeah. Ooh, if 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 oh if mm. uh-huh. if Levi was like you know if Levi was fully recovered by the time like the rumbling got to that airport the port. Mm. Are you what saying if Hanji if... never died? What if Hanji never died? What if Levi died instead? You know. No, I don't think. Actually, no, I don't think both of them would have because like the reason why they were delayed in the first place was because like people were shooting at their plane. Right? What do you mean, people? It's just one flock. Oh, that God. little, that little okay, fine. shit. You can say that flock would have been sure dead before they got there. I blame Hanji's death on him. <laughs> Even if he's dead as well, I blame. Him. Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't think it would, because like you know, the reason why flock survived was like you know they kind of, and not really screwed up, but like you know they weren't that effective in like getting away mm. that flock still yeah, yeah, yeah. to follow them so he still got attached to the boat yeah. or something what I was saying was if Levi was there the I guess the you know maybe the, it would have been smoother. he actually yeah mm. and flock would point. be there and oh shit no alive. wait a minute if John never pushed away flock from being eaten like chopped off by oh, uh, a yeah. peak damn yeah. it John, my boy, why you do that to me? You kind of. <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> we're going off topic. Yeah, we're going off topic. But yeah, my Levi, bad, my bad. Moving on from Levi, I guess. Uh, we're gonna talk about, I guess, like the final, final arc, like the climax. So. We're talking about the start of the rumbling. Oh, cool. What do you Towards think the of the end. start of the rumbling? It was very epic. Like, I am excited for it to be animated and. Uh, I was surprised. Aaron's Titan looks so weird. I'm so sorry. I just had to say that. I mean, I guess weird. It re- it kind of remind me of another version of Rod Race. Rod Rice. 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 It's Rice. Rice is like a Rice. wormy looking Titan, but not fleshy. You know? Yes. Because it's like a worm. And it's like a worm. It's like really long and really big. I guess so, like, it's like the biggest Titan, I, th- I think. Like, yeah, yeah, it is it's the biggest really Titan. Huge. Which is, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't mean weird like in a bad way. I just thought, yeah, it was scary. It's pretty scary. It's not I, like the I super saw... buff, you know, normal looking Titan. Yeah, I didn't expect one. it to be a. Yeah, I just didn't expect it to be a skeleton or something. It reminded me of that building in, uh, in America, in New York, the World Trade Center. <laughs> I think that's the World Trade Center. I, it's like a station. I will not comment on that. 
do you know what it looks like? Do you know what it looks like? It yeah. looks exactly like Aaron Pettit. It has spikes and like the, the the arches. Do you not remember? Is it the World Trade Center? I don't know if it really is the World Trade Center. I will Google it real quick. <laughs> But it's it's basically the area. It's around the area where uh, the two towers was almost like near the two towers. That's why the World Trade mm-hmm. Center is there. Okay. But it's like it's like it's like that stations, quote unquote station, yeah. where you get dropped off if you ride the train from New Jersey to New York, or at least that's what I remember from my New York travel. I don't know, travels. <laughs> yeah, when I traveled there. But yeah, that's the first thing that I thought of. Like, oh my god, this looks like that building. For me, the sign wise, I yeah. was just like excited to see it being very big i was like oh a big titan cool and okay to be fair like in s- some panels it looks kind of stupid but like it's fine and others like uh how do i say this like you know when you can see the back and like the spine i guess it was like spiky yeah and stuff. i was like oh cool but like yeah see the face the face is actually like weird because it's just like his titan but like I don't know, rebonded hair and like his ears. Yeah, are... it's so his, his hair is so long. And so... his ears are like shooting <laughs> left or something. I was like, ah, like shooting sideways. Yeah. I was like, oh okay, that not not as like you know scary as you would think. But other than that, uh, I thought it was cool. And you know, he has like an army of uh, uh colossal titans, right? And I yeah. thought that he was. I was surprised of his intentions. Like, I didn't know that he would actually do that. Like, I thought he would do something. Oh yeah, like me just, too. I really thought he would just like flatten Marley, but like you know, he turned a couple of pages, but like, oh, I'll flatten the world and stuff. I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, I guess that's going to happen. So yeah, yeah. So I, I was, I was also surprised. I didn't. I I think that that that's so. For the lack of a less cringier word. <laughs> but I thought like the walls breaking down and all of the colossal titans being released from the walls that was so epic like oh gosh it was oh god that's gonna be amazing animated but <laughs> yeah anyway you know speaking of animation sorry let me just go off topic real quick at first I was like I didn't like okay maybe maybe not this like but I minded the titans a lot the the CG titans but like CG yeah but like I came to realize it was like really well made, and I won't be, you know, I won't be mad if the Colossal Titans is gonna be CG because like people are memeing it all the time. Now. Oh, when season four comes, the Mappa's gonna cry because like, you know, all the Colossal Titans, all this Titan, this Titan, that. And, yeah. You know, yeah. It's like a wild scene. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess like you know what happens after the rumbling is Connie. Uh, I think he kidnapped. What's his name? Falco? Oh, no, not Falco. Fal- uh, Falco. Falco, sorry. Falco? Yeah. yeah. He kidnapped Falco and was about to, like, let uh, his mom eat Falco. And, like, you know, during that whole sequence, I was like, what the heck? is he? I mean, I guess I could understand, you know, he misses his mom, but, like, it is that. Yeah. Like, it was just, like, a wild scene that, like, this guy who holds Titan powers is about to, like, get <laughs> eaten by, like, an elderly woman. And I was like, for a moment, I really thought that it was gonna happen. So, yeah. yeah. And... People kept memeing this a lot uh, when you know when he got he got Falco back and everything and shit. Time to save the world. That like when I he said that, I forgot how to pronounce her name again. Is it Annie? It's Annie, right? That's yeah, Annie. yeah, It's Annie. Annie yeah. yeah, Annie. Annie's back. Who spoilers alert again? <laughs> I keep saying spoilers alert for like the big moments, but yeah, uh, you know, they basically woke up Raina at that time and yeah. yeah. He was asking what's happening or something, and then yeah, basically Connie says it's time to save the world or something. I'm like, yeah. okay. <laughs> like, he's, uh, he's the he's the badass leader now, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he's basically leading the whole squad now or something. And it's funny. That was that was a cute moment, I guess. Was, you know, uh, I guess this leading up to Raina being back with the squad, it felt nice in a way that um, I guess like we could see Raina as a good. Character, the band's know. back together yeah. again. Even though you know a lot of people are missing, uh, dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I guess like in a way the band's back together. Oh, it felt like there was a feeling of like, uh like you know, kind of miss this. You know, the old days when they were. Yeah, I, I really, I love Ryan and I love that Ryan and Annie were back 
with them even if Annie bailed a little bit <laughs> for a time but I like, yeah I like Annie back I, for the longest time I was like wondering what her purpose of the story would be but I guess like, yeah. being a badass is enough so you know <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> to being in the story again uh, I still I, I think the the arc her arc at least in the last few uh, chapters, chapters was really nice because she was so passive. I, I don't know if this is the right term to describe her, but she was very indifferent to everything. She just wanted to get her job done. But then now, she we just knew that she wanted to see her dad again. So like that gave her... It showed her... like I don't know. That gave her morals. I don't know if... like. Mm. Like, relatable morals, I yeah, guess. Relatable. Going back to her father, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Relatable morals. And yeah, that was yeah. like a nice moment. That I guess, like for the longest time, we saw Annie as like you know somebody evil working for Marley, a spy, whatever. But like you know, at the end, she just wanted to like see her dad again. And I thought that was like a very humanizing moment for her. Yeah, humanizing. Yeah, humanizing. Yeah, human you moment. did. You you said it better, bit yeah. better. Yeah. And Good job. Yeah, I guess after that, Jean's dream. We can. Oh my God. Yeah, I want to talk about my boy Jean. It's not just his dream, but just his whole conflict with the from the start of the rumbling. Since we, because of the rumbling, and because Flock is trying to eliminate all quote unquote evil or hate within the island, turned into a dicta- di- dictator and everything. But he told <laughs> he basically told Jean that yeah, uh, there's no need to fight anymore. You can finally go back to wanting to live in like the upper parts of the city or some of the walls but uh and whatnot and uh basically we get like a few panels of his future dream his dream of like five years in the future and i'm just like i really thought that uh <laughs> he would end up with mikasa because i thought it was like you know foreshadowing i mean it still could but, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 i really like, thought it was like for sure oh i guess like this is the death of every Every meeting yeah. is out there. <laughs> <laughs> but then there oh. are so many bird errand TikToks uh-huh. <laughs> saying that if ever John does ask out Mikasa, there's just like videos of a bird pecking someone yeah. who's like, yeah. That was, I love bird errand TikTok. Okay. Um, <laughs> wait, can I just oh, yeah. share? There's just like this meme of like a farmer <laughs> holding a dead bird and <laughs> they had text saying if, <laughs> if John knows uh, like you know finds out that Aaron's uh, a bird now <laughs> like oh that's funny okay. but yeah, yeah we can go on ah uh, bird Aaron um what's this Jean what was I talking about oh yeah yeah so you mentioned his dream on like everything uh talking about his dream I do want to share that it was like speculated I think around the internet that the woman in his dream is actually Mikasa like that that was actually it so like yeah, I'm just confirming what he's just said. But with the whole with that whole thing, like we actually saw conflict, like him on his bed and like trying to ignore Hanji's words and everything. And I'm just like that that I I just like that there was still that conflict and there was still that um that realism within his character because yeah, Flock has a point. He John could just like stop and have the uh, have the life that he really wanted from the very very beginning they went about their lives and stuff in peace. yeah and, yeah and later on we see that he later on yeah just he just does the right thing but he does it he i just like the next few interactions him bargaining with hanji like uh he had the point na if they do stop Eren, wouldn't the world just still hate them? Like, he, aren't they just dooming the island once again? Basically, going back to square one. But, mm-hmm. you know, uh, Hanji, love this love this character so much. Just reiterates uh, that, yeah, massacre isn't the answer. Uh-huh. They tried to forget. Uh-huh. Like, even Hanji themselves also knew, also had that conflict. Like, they tried to forget. They tried to, they wanted to run away with just uh, Levi in the forest, right? Just earlier. And, but, you know, uh, they just remembered their duty. And they couldn't just forget the sacrifices of their comrades. So, like, mm-hmm. I just, you know, the guess, right guess, thing to do came out in the end. So, I like that. I guess, yeah. like, it goes back to when Erwin said, like, you know, it's the living who give the dead 
uh, who give the dead sacrifice meaning. And if, if you think about that, like, that's a very, parang it shows the, the relationship mm-hmm. of them to the survey corps and you know that they actually like have yeah. to go through with it. I mean, though, I mean, nobody wants to go to war. Nobody wants to risk their life, but they did it anyway. So yeah, yeah. Speaking of Anji, speaking of Anji, <laughs> you take the floor. Just give me, <laughs> just give me a moment to come. Yeah. Uh, this is Annika's favorite character. Well, I guess one of her favorite characters is Hanji. So. Yeah. There's there's a it's it's a tie between John and Hanji because I really like their developments and their arcs. And also, Raina was like okay for a moment. <laughs> now I'm like okay with him long. And also, but yeah, if he's it wasn't, still... If it wasn't clear up to this moment, Hanji kind of died. So yes, ah! uh, that happened. <laughs> I mean. Mm. They died. Oh God, I'm still kind of grieving. No, I'm not. All jokes aside, <laughs> um, I grieved for like a week after I read that chapter and after the last chapter came out, and it it was so weird for me because I didn't expect their death to hit me so hard, and it's weird that I'm feeling this way about a fictional character. But you know, our brains can't differentiate fiction from reality apparently i don't i think mm-hmm. that's how it goes that's what the discovery was so like i think it was valid that i was grieving for a character <laughs> i mean yeah i guess okay like i said i haven't it have it hasn't hit me yet i'm just like waiting until I'm waiting for that it's and, okay it's yeah. okay but you know uh hanji's really been a likable character since the start uh mm-hmm. smart you know uh i guess like for for a while she was eccentric like, in the yeah. middle of of you know a war everything was happening yeah. everything that was happening but so positive yeah uh, mm-hmm. i mean during the during the chapter at least you know from page one you could kind of see it happening already like you know the conversation is you know are we gonna get out of here Parang it gave me that feeling that somebody might die and mm-hmm. when i was like you know looking at the cast stuff like who was there i was like oh parang it's most definitely gonna be Hanji, I guess. <laughs> and <laughs> parang, parang, I kind of like mentally prepared myself and you know, lo and behold, she what's the term? She they volunteered and she assigned Armin as the new commander, which I felt Stop like misgendering was... oh. them. Okay, fine. Their pronouns are they. Oh fine, they. You can think and uh what's the term? Uh you know, they Okay, my brain can't Oh yeah, they told Armin that he was the new commander and so I was like yo yeah. so this was a moment that I always felt like was gonna happen at some point and it did happen and yeah and the whole scene happened that was like okay to be fair I thought it was kind of like it was kind of like a very sad not very sad but like it wasn't the death I saw that would happen like being killed by colossal titans of all things but you know yeah. I think I was fine with it uh, I just thought no, no, it could have been like <laughs> sa finale and stuff, like you know something, uh, more, something more. Oh, you know they didn't have to guess. die in the first place. I'm kind of <laughs> biased, but yeah, you really have to die. Yeah, probably for plot. But <laughs> like, okay, fine. Take the whole scene, take it out of the story. No, 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 no. I'm just like saying. <laughs> The whole scene, take it out of the Is story. This therapy. And... Are you trying to therapy? No, no, no. I'm just, like, I'm just like saying that if you take mm-hmm. that chapter out, the story would be the same. Like, they can, like, that death doesn't. Well, you're really... agreeing with me. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess in a way yeah. that, that that wasn't really necessary. Like, you get that feeling that, yeah. you know, when somebody dies, like, oh, it impacted the story. Hanji's death. I mean, I guess it did, but that whole scenario could have been avoided. Or like it could have hap- it could have not happened at all, and you know, story would have if been the they story. just killed Flock in the first place. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, but yeah. Or yeah. honestly, though, I was I was trying to reread. I was I kept rereading that moment, and I was really trying to say if I was really trying to like bargain. I guess <laughs> five stages of grief. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was really trying to bargain, like if Hanji never did fight two of those tight uh two of those colossal titans or three of those colossal titans would have would it had made a difference because they they were already there like i don't know i don't know i maybe animated like seeing everything move mm-hmm. would make more sense than just pictures because i can't titans yeah. actually march towards us yeah. yeah 
Yeah, or something. I I I really hope they give Hanji a a really good OST, a really good theme to you know. Send off, animated send off, and all send that. Send off, yeah. yeah, yeah. I just really feel bad for Levi now because he's gone. He's he's gone. He's alone. He's he's the only one left out of all of his you know past comrades besides the Years kids. Stuff, yeah. Yeah, I feel wait, bad. I, wait, I guess like from the original. Survey Corps, like it's only Levi Scott that's alive, right? I mean, you you get the modern Survey Corps, but like you know, they don't really have like that connection between the ones that Irwin leaded because they all kind of died. So yeah, yeah. yeah. they're all dead mm. basically. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess yeah. like, there's a after that, you know, there was like a new Survey Corps, like a new logo and stuff, but. Uh, let's save that for the You episode. mean the Jaegerists, right? They were still yeah, the yeah, Jaegerists. Like, the Shepherd Corps is the Jaegerists now, apparently. Which is kind of weird, but okay. They're still fighting, basically. So, we can talk about time skip wise later on. But yeah, I'm still in denial. I still don't. <laughs> I'm suppressing Anji's death, and I will later on. You want to talk about the. Um, for at least me, the biggest, yeah, biggest climax or the biggest mm-hmm. plot twist that I have seen made me gasp so loud when I read it. But yeah, it's basically when John and Connie and all of the Eldians became into, into Titans. Titans. Yeah, uh, just like that. Before I, you know, I get to that, I just want to say that the climax is very wild. So many oh, yeah, things cl- happened. It was really long climax. It was a really long climax, and you know when it besides this part, yeah, yeah besides this part, and when it came to that moment, that wh- who was it that turned them into titans anyway? Because the I think it was uh, no, it was wasn't uh, it the the worm? squiggly thingy, the worm itself. Yeah, We're calling just, it the worm. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even given an official name. Like this, is, okay, I'll say this for my. I think Zeke called it life, quote unquote life, when he was yeah. talking to Armin about it. But yeah, like I guess like one of my criticisms girl of like how the page was panel was, it f- seemed like Falco called them because he kind of screamed. Yeah, yeah, I saw so that I too. Like, why, why did why are they mad at the the worm if Falco nope. did it? So yeah, I guess like, maybe just and stuff. maybe the worm told Falco to do it, but then. But then wait a minute, Falco can't do it though because he's not, royal he's not even Roy. He's not a royal member, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, royal family blood. Choo choo. Like, you know the only reason why Zeke could have, could do it before was because he was royal blood. And, yeah. Yeah. Was Maybe really Falco bad. screaming was just like a scream in agony. You know, like how people always say no whenever someone dies. Like no. Yeah, I'm not doing it. But I did it. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that happened. And everybody turned into Titans, and you know, characters that I never thought I would see Titans are Titans. You know, we can even yeah. see Rhino's mom in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Can yeah. I just say, yeah. when I saw <laughs> when I saw Jean as a Titan, I just kept, I kind of thought of the memes or like the thirst traps on TikTok would be like, because everyone, it's a meme that everyone, well, uh, lots of people kind of thirst over yeah. Aaron's Titan because it's can't deny it, it's it's built different. <laughs> but <laughs> they and then someone Titan like kind of yeah uh, no uh, someone kind of like drew John as a Titan, and everyone was like ooh, bite slip meme and all that. <laughs> I was like, oh gosh, okay, sexy Titan. <laughs> I can't believe I said that, but yeah. I in the panel, the maga when I saw the panel, it's like, yep, he's still pretty hot as a Titan. What? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say he looks stupid because that was what I thought. Him and uh, I don't know. I mean, I only saw the face. I only saw the face, and I could identify that it was Jean. So we're like, ooh, still cute. Okay. <laughs> it only showed up for like one panel. Then I think, like, yeah, it's just super, one, literally one panel. That's right. That's right. Yeah. It's just like one of those moments, and I thought. Just because they show it in one panel, in one panel, that's why I was like, "Oh, maybe this won't last, or you know, they'll get turned back into humans." So, yeah. Um. Oh yeah, I kind of, I kind of thought I had a hunch that you know, I think they're gonna survive again and or get I turned actually, back into I humans. Thought, like, I really thought coming. 
I, don't, I actually thought that everybody was gonna be naked when they get back at the naked. humans. But you know, they have clothes or whatever, so it's fine, I guess. But, yeah. Uh, so oh yeah, yeah that's happy. true, because you... Oh, so that, anyway, never mind. Moving on. <laughs> you want to talk about no, just say Armin that. versus Erin? Erin, Erin, sorry. Sorry, Erin. Our friend Erin. I keep calling... Erin. 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 Say that. Erin. Uh, Armin, Armin versus Erin. So... Erin Diego. It was a I very short fight. I really thought it was going to be like... It was like five well. seconds. Five yeah. seconds. Five panels of like yeah. just punching. Just like you know? one punched Aaron. And like, I don't know. I, I guess it's just me being used to like the old time of like anime or like Dragon Ball. And the one fight could like take like hundreds of chapters. But, did you, know, you say Dragon? Did you re- reference Dragon Ball Z yeah. again? <laughs> I did. But like, you know, back in the day, people would like do multiple chapters per fight. But you know, the. I guess like, you know, the whole fight, I remember it's Aaron. It was just one punch. And it was still a cool fight. Like, I, I was surprised to know... One that fight I, is already a punch. Uh, one punch is already a fight for you. I, I, what else would you call it? I guess a punch, but, you know. A tussle. You know, a little roughhousing with the boys. <laughs> Something Aaron and just... John used to do a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, you know, Aaron, st- Aaron can turn into a colossal then. I thought that was cool. Uh... He kind of just like lost, but I think part of me feels like he let Armin win. Like I don't see why he would lose that fight. Yeah, he he probably. I feel like he probably did kind of let Armin win because Mikasa and Levi kind of intervened in the end, and this is moving on to the most. I mean, okay, to be fair, I think I think Aaron did win against Armin because like, he punched him. And like it left like a huge hole in Armin's head, but like all he but did was like, hold Armin, uh, hold Aaron's head, like open or something. For, like, yeah, give, give but Aaron then a space. was this? But then Armin did say in the end, "I am Armin." Min Arleka. <laughs> Sorry, TikTok audience. I'm Armin, the man who defeated Aaron Yeager. So, I think Armin won the fight. I mean, yeah, yes, for me, help. I'm on Team Armin. <laughs> With help. But, Hello, everything is with help nowadays. But yeah, I guess like with that, we can transition it to the next point. Uh, Mikasa finally, like, dro- not really dropping he her... Says. Okay. He says. Okay. says. Not really dropping her feelings for him, but like, you know, uh, accepting that maybe he must die. So she, you know, she went in for the kill. And it happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, God. I, I, I just want to talk about the panel. <laughs> the whole kissing panel. Mm-hmm. So awkward. It was kind of awkward a for me. Head. It was just my, my yeah, my personal opinion because it's a headless head, a bodiless head. You know, I always like imagined yeah. that you know when you get to the final, this the finale of the series, if Aaron was going to die, that you know maybe he would like at least still have his body. But you know, with Titans, that kill, Titan killing isn't really possible unless you because Gabby kind of shot his head off yeah, of yeah, his body yeah. in the first place. Uh huh. That. Yeah. And you know, the trend of decapitating Titan shifters. So yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Before we talk about that, the what's the term? The dream sequence. Uh, what did you think about it? Like uh, them being in a farm. The dream and sequence. Yeah. Oh, I I do I I do want to talk about I. How do I explain this? Because I know of the like the time theory, the past, present future thing being consistent and everything and we know that their mem- all of their memories of Aaron visiting them or having a talk with them explaining his side returned after everything was done mm-hmm. we basically it, it kind of shows us that um, memories like actually happen it actually happened mm. I think I don't know where they I well, we never saw. We only saw Armin's Armin's talk with Aaron. So I don't know about the other others if it took the it took place in the same setting, which is basically the paths, right? Mm-hmm. Which is time is boundless there. Mm-hmm. So I want to know if Mikasa's memory or that dream sequence happened in the past or uh, happened in the path 
or did it actually happen? Is it actually an, an alternative universe or mm-hmm. something like an alternate timeline? But I don't know. Okay, because like with how it was explained, from my understanding, is yeah. that was canonically what was going to happen if Mikasa Co- like, you know, quote unquote uh, canonically. Quote unquote quote canonically. Uh, Remember, this is an audio only podcast. Yeah, sorry, sorry. But yeah, okay. canonically <laughs> say that uh, that was what was going to happen if. You know, she maybe like confessed or was clear with her feelings, and yeah, you know, you know, from no, yeah, readers, I got that, I got yeah, that yeah. standpoint, I got that, but with understanding the whole time Trouble loop, rules. time loop, time the uh, the time rules, yeah, yeah, the rules of time. Was her memory? Was her was her was dream yeah. and a memory, or is it just? Or did it actually happen, or something? I don't know. I don't know. Fuck. I think. <laughs> I think. Uh, it was just a vision, but like you know, like we can agree that it is gonna happen if that you know if that sequence yeah, yeah, yeah. happen. But at the same time, that's for sure. With the rules that was you know used in the series, that didn't happen because it can never happen because. You know, so why does she have that memory then? I don't know. If it never happened. Perhaps it's kind of like a way of explaining something that can't be explained. <laughs> like, oh, there's a problem to explain the story. Okay, Pat's this, Pat's that. Pat's I... that. But yeah. Yeah. You know, one thing I think one thing I'd like to say though is that Oh yeah. Aaron because you know, if Aaron can do that, then he can do it with almost every instance that happened. Wait, I think I'm I'm forward. Sorry. I think in my head I'm already answering my question. I'm going to headcanon this as M- Mikasa's dream technically did happen, but it only happened in the past. Because it's like it's not a quote unquote alternative universe, I guess, but I guess it's it's just Eren gave her two months of the life that they could have had. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it yeah. yeah it it could only be possible if they were living in living quote unquote living <laughs> in yeah. the past because yeah I just I just got confused because of the setting so I thought it actually did happen or it's an alternate timeline anyway that's nerdy stuff and very technical I'll think about it in my spare time <laughs> I guess do you like, want to talk about oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like, I guess like last point is I guess like we can talk about this later then but like. You know, if Aaron could see that future, alternative future, then that means yeah. he could see a multiple alternative futures, and you Doctor know, Doctor Strange, probably a future <laughs> that everybody lives and everybody's friends. I guess like it's just sad that he never, I guess like was shown to try to change everything. Like it was just said, "Oh, everything's written and that's it." But you know, I guess like Guru, yeah, that's true. If you know, like I said before, from previous episodes I believe in show and tell then so like imagine a few chapters of Eren trying to change everything then like try to change the future would have been nice no, no, I guess like uh, that falls under stuff that we're gonna talk about later which is things we wish didn't happen or could have happened anyway uh, so the kiss and the next you wanna talk about the next one uh, as how you labeled it as founder Ymir's Stockholm Syndrome as how you put it Mm-hmm. You wanna go first? <laughs> so uh, okay, so I guess like this is the part where we talk about Aaron and Armin's final conversation, and I don't know. This is just like one of those plot points that I really felt like were, you know, when you read it, you're just like, okay, <laughs> so that's a thing. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's just because like okay, Stockholm syndrome. It is what it is, right? Like you know, you like how do you how do you what. How do you define What's the definition? Again? Come on, you use the term. Go Google it. <laughs> you should know what it is. I mean, I know what it is, but like, I don't know how to like word it. But like, and like I don't want to say it the wrong way. <laughs> Why should I Google it? Just Google it. <laughs> I, I googled. It. I googled the other thing a while ago. Oh wait, no, not now, but before, before about so, the conscientious Stock- thing. Stockholm syndrome is a psycho psychological response it occurs on hostages or abuse victims bond with their captors or abusers so i guess like my issue with this as like a plot point in the story is you know most of the time at least you would want your reader to be able to relate to the characters and stuff and Mm -hmm. this is just like one of those things that not a lot of people will be able to relate to and you know when you read Mm -hmm. it you're just like what the fuck (laughs) like 
you know, that's stupid. But even though it's a thing, you know, parang mm-hmm. a lot of people does, don't resonate with it. That's why I felt, that's why I felt like this implementation in the final chapter was like, I guess, bad in a way. Because people wouldn't like it and, you know, would think, oh, she's crazy for liking him, this and mm-hmm. that. But, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, I guess that's one of the things that I felt like didn't like click with people in the final chapter. And I guess like it's a good like explanation, uh, like, you know, mirroring Mikasa's like love for Eren. Like, you know, she loves him no matter what, even though he's gone over the deep end and kind of wanted to destroy uh-huh. the world. And yeah. Yeah, and I think if you know if you read the final chapter, it was like explained there that uh, Mikasa was like the reason why Ymir could like let go of the past and something because you know Mikasa like paralleling yeah. what Mikasa did by killing Eren and stuff. So I guess it's fine. You know, I said what I said. Like that's my comments about it. Uh, what about okay. you? Thank you. Thank you for your thoughts. I have. I have. So m- it. It. It made me piece together what I wanted to say because okay. I I agree. I, I do agree that the whole love thing, like, oh, the whole reason why Ymir, the founder Ymir, didn't want to leave is because she loved the king. It's kind of out of place. But because I, I, I say it's out of place because personally, this is my opinion. Uh-huh. I don't see Attack on Titan as, I don't, see love in Attack on Titan like, like it's, it's hard, hard it was hard for... it's not a love driven story that's for sure yeah 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 I, I I didn't see love as a factor when seeing when reading mm-hmm. uh, Attack on Titan and I'm saying that even if I'm like a shipper and I ship some people in this in this uh, story but mm-hmm. that was that super super sided love uh, very very crumbs of love in the story like he, like Scout Ymir and Historia, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, it was more action and plot for me and angst. So I agree with like people's reaction, be like, how can you think, how how is romance important uh-huh. in this plot? Uh, and I get it. I also get the reaction, like, that's kind of stupid. She loves him even if he's mean, uh, even if the king is mean to her. Yeah, so like, an abuser. I l- he literally I like... had the children eat her. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's good. That's a good perspective on the audience because the audience knows what a toxic relationship is. And that's definitely not <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, that's it. definitely it. That's, uh-huh. that's, that's definitely not what love should be. But I would like to think, I, I, I'm kind of defending the love role the role of love in the story because i kind of i think it's it makes sense it mm-hmm. hear me out okay hear me out you founder ymir uh was a slave she was a slave this whole time and uh she, all she ever wanted i think at least is my uh-huh. theory or at least my thoughts i think all that she wanted was to have a connection that's why she had all of the Eldians have a connection through the coordinate or the past. Mm-hmm. And if you think about it in her perspective, the king wanted her. Of course, for the wrong reasons for and for selfish and Yeah, toxic yeah. reasons. But um she and she definitely deserved better. Mm-hmm. And Aaron saw that. Aaron saw that her feet I'm so sorry if you hear toys. <laughs> Jingling toys because my my dogs are here in the room with me. They're playing. Oh no! Yeah, they're excited. Um, yes. Going back, Erin saw that she basically didn't have her own freedom as a slave. Very valid. Very Erin of him because he's all about freedom. So he influenced her to let go of the king. And when he touched her, when he touched Emir, founder Emir, to persuade her to give him the founder's powers and she did that's how the whole rumbling started because Ymir like touched Eren and Eren has the uh, attack titan's powers like she saw in the future that Mm -hmm. Mikasa loved Eren so like Mm -hmm. yeah love 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 kind of fits I don't know where I was going. I got distracted with it's my dog, fine, so like fine. my whole my own monologue kind of like fell flat. For me, Primo I guess, and like, Peggy, my dogs. This is all your fault. <laughs> for me, I guess like what Sorry. I would like to add is, like you said, it's mm-hmm. not a love-driven story, but like yeah, with how the 
finale was shaped up to be parang it showed na parang at the end it was and you know romantic love of course and you know uh it didn't i mean like i didn't buy it if that makes sense parang I still would have yeah. for a different other that's product. valid that's yeah. valid uh i get your point naman and i think it's also valid and you know it's fine and... i'm yeah i'm i'm just i just thought about this like i reflected on it trying to see trying to make sense so maybe i'm also like blinded by just praising canon or something but that's at least my perspective and i'm i'm happy that i made that connection so like it's okay if you don't see it it's yeah. fine so i guess with that being said we're gonna be talking about <laughs> the three-year time uh, do you have anything that or are you gonna oh yeah that? i i do wanna i do wanna what's this add mention add Wait, no, never mind. I said my piece. I just double checked okay. my yeah. call a quote script or something. My notes. Thing. Notes. Yeah, there you go. My notes. <laughs> so yeah, the three year time skip. Um, okay, can I start here? Just I have something I wanted to say. Sure, so, go on. The third time skip uh, to me was very. I guess it. I think I wanted to see more, like. The conclusion. Oh yeah, because like, you know, I that's, agree. That's the same thing with everything, right? Like, you know, a story starts and you wanted to see the end. I was about to reference Dragon Ball again. I will refrain myself. <laughs> like no. you know, stories in general. Like you wanted, kait, kait like uh, kait. It doesn't like okay. I'll just reference Harry Potter there. So like you know, it started with Harry's <laughs> journey. It ended with the Battle of Hogwarts, but after that, parang it, it ended with the, Harry. No, 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 yeah. But I'm saying that. Battle of Hogwarts happened. There was a climax, whatever. And after that, they showed a ta- time skip of you know. Uh, Hold on, I thought you didn't watch the movies. Why? Why are you like you I lied to me? Watch the movies. What do you mean? I, like, I love the movies. You said we kept. The oh baiting. no! It was the no, books. I didn't yeah, finish reading the books. the books, but yeah, like by the end, <laughs> we also saw like post you know post time skip. We also saw uh so mm-hmm. we also saw them with their families and stuff and yeah yeah and i guess like with attack on titan parang even though it was the ending it was the conclusion time, time skip parang it still felt like you know parang it gave the message na, oh there's still gonna be a war there we're not sure as an audience if they'll be fine and i think that was like what a lot of people were, were looking for na that validation na, oh they are fine like this is the end their story is done you know parang there's peace 100 like I get the story that or the message at least that Isayama, Isayama and Armin was trying to say that there will always be war and stuff but you know like there is also peace and would have loved to see it so yeah third time skip mm, I get it I get it I guess to, to at least add to what you wanted like um uh, more scenes for the time skip I want to add, hey, that's what fan fiction is for. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. That is a lot true. of fan fiction out there. That is true. And it's open for interpretation for fans, or, you know, yeah. I don't know. I, I also agree. I kind of do wish we got more scenes with the time skip. And generally, just just trying to figure out, uh, like, how they all were more. Like, we, we just got, like, the voiceovers of. Uh, Historia's letter and Armin's monologue. Historia is very <laughs> beautifully <laughs> smelling letter that Raina keeps sniffing for some reason. Hey, <laughs> I think that was funny. I like that. Was that. Funny. I, it was funny, but you know, I just wanted to point it out. I, I think people are being too harsh when they <laughs> said that, oh, all of Raina's character development threw out the window. As soon as he started yeah, sniffing the ladder, I was like, okay. It was really a stretch, but you know, it was just like a funny scene. Go off, sis. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm i I'm just glad the band's back together and, and, and whatnot. We have Peak in it too. Yeah, Peak is. I like Peak as an, another addition of the band. What's up to the band? And I'll, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> but dark. yeah, Jen. <laughs> Generally, the time skip and your thoughts on peace, and that's what you said. Like, I think fans wanted to know if about that, and at least in my interpretation of Armin and Isayama's message, that yeah, uh, life 
what did you say about life? Like, war is still always gonna be a thing. Like that hate is gonna be a thing forever. Parang ganon. Parang it's like a reality yeah. check if you think about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I guess for me at least, the little piece that quote unquote piece as in P E A C E of of fans that uh, of what the piece that fans are looking for. I guess yeah, it's open for interpretation and. Instead of thinking like peace as a one-time thing, it can be just those little moments of living, or at least that's what I like. Tr- I'm trying to phrase it as because I remember how Armin was explaining to Zeke why or why were they still fighting or something, or uh, why uh, what is there to fight for, or something. <laughs> I don't remember exactly, uh-huh. but uh, Armin was like recollecting. The moments where he was reading a book, or he was running with Armin and Mikasa as kids, like those little moments of life. That's what makes life precious, and I guess that's like the piece fans should be free to think of, maybe, perhaps, because it's very realistic. It's very realistic. What is- Isay- Isayama said that, yeah, hate will always be there. You can't fully eradicate it, no matter how. Asshole of asshole like if genocidal you maniac you are yeah the world yeah I mean yeah yeah I guess I guess it's also another another plot point in saying that because Aaron did that like it did brew more hate but you know it will take the rest of the world you know in his words a couple of years to be able to retaliate and when that day comes Parad Haradi is ready and yes it's gonna happen more war <laughs> so, oh gosh yeah. I think it's just I guess they at least at least for now they can't use the Titans in that scenario in that new war that they have because yeah if Titans is on both sides or is a factor in any side of the war then yeah let's even out the playing field let's equalize both sides that being said, no more Titans like, period yeah. Paradi has like a head start in like strengthening their military so I guess they could yeah. even win the war, but 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 the war might not even happen because you know uh, they were going to peace talks with the gang. Yeah, why so, not? Like yeah. I thought. Yeah. Open-ended. Anyway, open ended. You know, that's a open ended. So I, I guess, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, Let's talk about with okay. with like ending that ending the talk about the manga. Let's talk about things we wish didn't happen or could have happened. Or are are okay with? Uh, I guess an like, external song. I guess yeah. I kind of like <laughs> went ahead earlier by talking about you know the ending that I said you know. That, yeah, we were already talking yeah. about it, but, but oh shucks. <laughs> uh, I guess like you know other than what I already mentioned is Historia. <laughs> uh, Only yeah. want to talk about Historia. Uh, okay, first. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll go first. I kind of yeah, wish, because okay. you know, uh, it's a finale, right, of a series that's been going on for years. You want at least like every major character, or not really a major, but like you know, character that we've gotten to know, like play a part in the finale and miss the story. And his story was just sidelined, like we literally didn't hear about her until the end, which I guess it's fine. Just like, gave birth, and we didn't see her yeah, till yeah. after. <laughs> we gave birth, like. The finale as it is, the final chapter is like it's okay, like it's serviceable. I like it. Okay, oh my god, I just said I like it. I like it, <laughs> and you know, I still could have wished it could have been better. You know, could, you could always wish that with any chapter, uh, with any story, but with the story, yeah. I, you know, I wish she was there, played the part, and yeah, she was there as a queen, so, as a letter. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. I I think there's still I think Historia in the finale. Um, she's, uh, how do I say this? She, she's happy with her baby <laughs> and she's doing her queen duty. Yes, so, because, yeah, I remember that, uh, uh, Connie was saying like, uh, after everything that happened, mm-hmm. um, uh, Historia automatically like defended John's parents and uh, Connie's mom from all of the Eldians that were mad still so she's mm-hmm. still like doing her duty in some way so like at least 
very i don't know very in a, a in a small way historia is both very powerful at the same time happy peaceful life something to I the extent of peace like something mm. peace that they have but like yeah something i wanted to add is that she genuinely seemed happy in the finale and that's nice cuz you know knowing historia that for all her life uh bad things happened to her and it was just nice to know that she was finally okay with everything that was happening she became queen yeah and you know, she's leading the people into who knows another war but <laughs> yeah stop Sorry. bringing up the war <laughs> okay but you know it was nice to see her still leading the people like fulfilling her duties and stuff and you could parang you could tell na she was okay slash happy to be queen and yeah yeah I want to no, next if you don't have anything else to say yeah. I want to talk about the fan reaction of people to the chapter Reddit was sad <laughs> it was like <laughs> we all lost today boys I'm not part of the Reddit yeah. but, but yeah, yeah. I heard I heard someone made a petition for really? Isayama to remake the last chapter and I'm just like I I was sent the petition by a friend oh, really and, like what did they say <laughs> Like, well, no, 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 no. Like, not, not in a way. Like, hey, sign this. No, 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 no. Oh, My oh, friend, like... Bella. Oh, <laughs> Shout out to Bella, I guess. Um, she, she just, she was just making cuento. She was uh-huh. just saying, oh "My God, have you seen, uh, the petition that they're asking?" Yeah. And she, yeah, she. Um, I don't know her thoughts on the chapter, but she just shared the info that people are actually petitioning, and. Mm. At least for me, gosh, I at least for me the whole petition thing. So disrespectful of people to do that because yeah. for me at least, come on, it's it's Sayama's work, it's his life's work. It's eleven years in the making. I think it's eleven years in the making. He can end it in the way he wants to, and it's his manga. For me, it's his manga. Yeah, I really enjoy fan theories. I really do. I enjoy fan theories. I enjoy discussions. It's the it's really cool to have with your friends and share with other people in the community, but just because your theory didn't come true yeah. doesn't mean you have to yeah. just get mad and get ra- enraged and just bash the whole series. Like not not liking it, and I guess like you say, like not liking it and hating definitely is enough. But you know, I think uh, harassing people and you know, uh, petitioning for a change is just also, like, you know, it's too far. Like, yeah. you can have your opinion about it. If you don't like it, then that's fine. Uh, yeah. I understand if, like, you you might feel disappointed in yeah. in in the in the outcome, because especially if you're the type of fan who has been, uh, who has been following this series for, since the beginning. So, like, I, I totally get that. That's very valid that you would be disappointed, but you can't do anything about it. You're not the yeah. author, so sit down, sit your ass down. I mean, you know? like <laughs> right now, I'm just like hoping for like an extended cut or something. I mean, the, 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 the bonus, the say. bonus chapters, right? There's yeah. bonus chapters in the volume yeah. coming out. I think I should. I I I'm tempted to buy it, <laughs> even if it's in Japanese. Yeah. Like maybe I don't know. Maybe we'll see it when it comes it out. Is. I think we're still a few volumes behind. Like in terms of volume releases, at least, so that's not gonna happen anytime soon, I guess. But you know, uh... oh wait, I thought oh, never mind. That's technical. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> yeah, anything okay. else about the fan reaction? Uh, I guess that's it. And I mean, I guess like, I'll just say this: that overall, in the beginning, at least, it was very negative. But like, I think people like yeah. me, like I think we started liking it at least. Like more and grow, more. yeah. It grew on us, basically. Yeah. And ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. Go. Continue. Oh yeah. No, that Finish. Was it. That was it. Oh, yeah. that was it. I sorry. I ood because I had another topic to say, but that's like another one. But like to finish off the fan reaction portion. Yeah. <laughs> go, go, go. I really, I really, I I see the negative side, but I want to talk about the positive, which is. The positive outcome from everything is basically all the memeable content that we got from Bird Erin. And I'm never gonna I'm never gonna stop talking about Bird Erin and just thinking about him still being around to mess with Mikasa or John mm-hmm. 
or any other suitors that my cousin might have. So okay. for just for for me, Aaron, least, <laughs> for me at least, like I don't really think Aaron became like some people really believe that you know like do you? <laughs> Wait, that's just oh, but <laughs> some people is it like not? is it is he not? I don't think is so. I think it's bird? I think it's just symbolism. I don't know. That's what I symbolism. believe. Symbolism. That's what I believe. You know, you free to believe whatever you want. I know some people like really. Okay, for the record, for the record, the bird, the bird, the bird that's drawn okay, is a go Jaeger. On. Go on. <laughs> so it could be, <laughs> it could be Aaron. You know, I'm just saying. I mean, like, I okay, think fine. it's Aaron. I think it's Aaron. I think it's Aaron. I like. I can understand why some people might. Okay, why some people believe that. And, but then know, again, he is dead. He is dead. <laughs> but like pads, you know, whatever. I mean, I guess pads don't exist anymore, right? The path doesn't exist anymore because I, 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 I get what you're coming from. I get, I, I'm. <laughs> I also don't know if Bird Aaron really does exist. But you know what? I'll never know. I don't think Wait, I'll ever find. Did the worm just what? disappear? The worm disappear? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. What the fuck? I, I just think... realized, like, oh, wait, is it gone? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> wait, in in the in the in the last chapter, yeah. all I saw was smoke. I guess so, it's gone? like, I don't know if the the worm is still in like the middle of all of the people. I don't. Because, like, remember don't, you said. Remember you said that Pats is gone now because Aaron's dead. The Founder Titan power is gone. But like the worm should still be there because the worm was there. The worm should... <laughs> when... I don't know. Whatever. I'm maybe maybe that was maybe that was part of the th- the whole thing. If if the titans are gone, then the worm should also be gone. But, but like, I also don't. The this is open existed. to interpretation. <laughs> the worm existed before the titans. Okay. Anyway, that's true. Anyway. That's true. The worm is technic that technically said to be life, and I don't think life can just die like that especially if its purpose is to multiply and it's scared of death itself so like maybe it devo- dissolved into like the earth i don't know <laughs> man i don't know clouds. i don't know is ayama we need answers you can't you can't make yeah, a spa that's... out of all of your fans tears without giving us other answers so uh yeah i was gonna say like one of their fan reaction was like people are complaining about the worm just like you know disappearing yeah just, it's just not there anymore and like i guess it's it is not yeah. i mean like yeah. it's never been about the worm you know like the story and stuff but, like, left, you know, the worm just appeared yeah. but like you know since it was there people still are curious and yeah anyway it's anyway fine. people are overreacting you think this is a perfect series i don't think it's a perfect it's se- well then again it's 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 a really good series but is it perfect i don't remember think so. remember that drawing of like the horse <laughs> 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 but yeah, oh like, no! Yeah. <laughs> uh, I still, I for me, I still. Oh wait, I'll save my over overall thoughts on it later. But because I just wanna, I, I wanted to add why I ood a while ago. Oh yeah, you, you can, <laughs> the you things I wish. <laughs> Sorry, I wish. Um, when um everyone was back turned back into Titans in the last chapter, and we got to see uh the scouts. All of the dead scouts, and we saw Hanji, Erwin say goodbye to Levi. You know, mm-hmm. dedicate your hearts, blah blah blah. We saw Sasha. <laughs> Sorry, I laughed at that. Blah yeah. blah blah. We saw Sasha say goodbye to Connie and John. John. Mm-hmm. I wish Marco was there as well. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's that's the only detail I oh, wish happened. Yeah. I wish he like popped up in the end. He would have. Yeah. That would have made. made so me cry <laughs> yeah jean so happy to uh, i know sasha so important we already saw yeah. sasha being so important in the series and she really is i just wanted marco to yeah surprisingly though like a lot of characters were there like i didn't expect like you know the spread like with all the survey core like i didn't expect mm-hmm. to see like to identify as much characters as i did and you know good for Sayama. uh even petra was there Sad. Yeah, Petra. <laughs> I love Petra. I really wish. Really, like, I guess like, still can't forget her father wanting Petra to marry Levi. Cause same. <laughs> I did check them. I did check them. But, Me too. Yeah, I did. Sad. Anyway. Uh, anyway. I think moving I was, on. Like any characters you wanted to talk about? I guess like um, in terms of like Buffy. development, they were still in the same situation. 
you know, other than the different look, they were all still you know the same characters striving for peace. Like three years isn't like long enough, I guess, for us like uh, have that conclusive like panel of like the them settling down or something. So yeah, it didn't really change that much, I guess. But you know, it's nice to see that everybody is together now. So yeah, because yeah. like, okay, last thought like because even <laughs> though you know uh, Rina and Annie betrayed the survey corps. I still think like deep down they were all truly friends. Like even though they were at war with each other. So betrayed. Yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be so sad when the final episode comes out. Uh that's still not like a year away, a year so away, but, like, prepare yeah. yourself. Prepare yourself. I read Anji's death. Whew. Okay. I guess one last thing I kinda wanted to ask you was what do you think about <laughs> what do you think about Aaron' reaction? Because I know people kind of got Our, weirded okay, out yeah, with yeah, yeah. Aaron's reaction during his explanation, like we him saying, about "The main character, <laughs> yeah, the main yeah, character. we forgot about the main character." <laughs> hey, yeah. it just shows that Attack on Titan is more than the main character. You it's know? more than just yeah, Aaron, than just of course. Aaron. So, uh, yeah, yeah, the main character. <laughs> like, do you want to go first, or should I go first? <laughs> asked you so you can okay, go first fine. what do you think about um him being like oh i don't know i don't I, know why i did all those things <laughs> i have no problem with erin liking mikasa right like i thought like there was even a time now i mean i guess like even now that you know i still ship them together what sorry <laughs> my mom called me anyway uh it's okay what was i saying so Oh yeah, Aaron. you still ship who? Uh, I still I still gotta ship Aaron and Mikasa and stuff, but uh, you know, like, you know, I'm done for. Wait, that d- wait a minute, wait a minute. You ship Aaron? And Mi- I thought you were a historian, I'm, Aaron fan. I kind of I'm a multi shipper, <laughs> you know. Like as a, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just started, teasing. I'm just teasing. When this year started, I shipped Aaron and Mikasa first. But anyway, uh, you know, I thought you did that for a crush. Hey. <laughs> not live <laughs> anyway anyway, anyway. Um, exposed uh, uh, sorry I, I didn't name drop I don't know the name so I'm like anyway, okay anyway <laughs> what was I gonna say I love the of thought okay. oh yeah uh, like I don't mind the whole plot point but it was just like the build up to before the rumbling or at least even during the rumbling the whole rumbling like Aaron really did seem like you know, he wanted to flatten the world, which I, he kind of did admit it. Like, there was a panel saying na, parang when 80% asked, of No, like, of when them. asked, I think he was like, I still would have done it or something. And, you know, mm. parang it just shows that Aaron's intentions were genuine. I guess it, I, I guess it's like, He's really a genocidal maniac. Yeah, that, and people are like, kind of like, blowing it out of proportion saying that he didn't know why he did the rumbling. Like, he still did it for the reasons he said he would. But, like, I yeah. think it was, like, the question of morality, like, why he would have, why he still did it. And mm-hmm. that's, I think that's the response of say, of him saying, I don't know. But I can't understand why he did it, I guess. Like, you know, it was... Me too. I, I agree. Not saying it was justified by any means. No, yeah, of course not. But I like, would never justify genocide. But, like, in terms of, like, his intentions, it was justified, right? Am I wording it right? Am I wording it right? I don't want to be cancelled. But, like, you know, his... It makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. sense why he Within character. Yeah. I like, I think people are... In, in my take, my take on it is... I agree. I exactly what you also think. Like, I agree with what you said mm-hmm. that people are kind of blowing out of proportion just because he said, "I don't know." I think he really does know. He just who would want to admit to their best friend that I really didn't want to kill everyone? No, yeah, yeah, it would have been like a really <laughs> dark moment in there. Otherwise, I guess. I yeah, know. like although I, at least for me, in my perspective, the reason why, even if he said he doesn't know. I think because he wanted, he was still angry. I think he was still angry with the whole world that he couldn't wrap around the fact that people outside the walls still hate the people inside for something they didn't do. So I think those those feelings are are they valid? That's justifying his action. Like it was kind of like it's not right. 
it's not right yeah, but yeah. i get his anger i get his anger it was so yeah in the, the world in, uh, I was gonna say in the episode in the chapter that uh it was like you know he wanted the whole world to see him as the villain so that you know uh you know could guess yeah so that, that, that also yeah parody would like be looked at as a hero but you know then again not I think parody was, but his friends his friends because uh, parody also kind of like stop didn't even stop the rumbling just his friends his friends are heroes <laughs> good point but you know <laughs> i guess like i still believe that that was just half the reason like he still genuinely hated the world and yeah like he hated said, the world like i said uh, i think so. one of the plot one of the plot points i think you know remember i mentioned it earlier now he didn't know if they were gonna beat him or not but mm-hmm. uh, i think even if they didn't beat him he would still go to murdering everyone like i still firmly believe that and yeah, yeah. he's a cool character he's a cool, cool? Character. like maybe he's a very good character to analyze <laughs> like like siguro a criticism that i would have is like the final chapter could have been done better like i guess in a way now would please longer maybe fans but yeah longer it definitely would have helped if it was longer but you know like it would send the message that I guess in a better way now people will wouldn't have that much issues with it but you know uh, you can't please everyone can't I please think everyone. I... but yeah. you know uh, I think it just angered uh, way more people than it should have had have have had so yeah uh, yeah what about you what yeah you about people it? got angry people got a- people kind of I don't like this word but I'm gonna use it anyway people yeah. kind of overreacted <laughs> They, their hate for it, and the whole ending, they oh. think it completely ruined the whole series. I'm just like, huh? I'm scared okay. of my hero academia now. It's fine. I trust <laughs> Kohei Horikoshi. It's gonna be fine. No, it's I mean... okay, Horikoshi. I still support you. You gave Bakugo a good character development, even if I haven't read it yet. I'm just so... <laughs> thinking back of all the anime slash manga I've finished like recently. I'm like. Everything has been ending. I guess like every, every like every series that I've read or watched has had like a negative reception for to the ending. So I'm just like hoping that you know. That, Ooh, that doesn't really? Ending. Yeah. The only then again, I've only finished two mangas. Really? <laughs> but okay. yeah, Haikyuu and Attack on Titan. Wait, wait, wait. No, I finished the manga of Rukuchara, which is the first anime slash manga that i've ever read as a kid uh-huh. moving <laughs> but that's besides the point um the fan reaction for haikyuu's ending was pretty good i don't see anything negative out of it because it's i feel like it's on crack <laughs> no it's not on crack but it's a really beautiful ending if you i think you should read uh-huh. the manga for haikyuu okay. yeah so i'm gonna art promote style that change yet though but okay uh, i love the art style change anyway anyway you want to Let's talk about the final question, which is how does the finale shape the story? Um, okay. So, or like, I guess your overall final thoughts on like the whole series. I don't think the finale ruins the series. Period. But mm-hmm. like I said, I do think it could have been done better. It could have Did you just say better. period? <laughs> I just said period. I don't period. Think it could have been, I don't think <laughs> like I think it could have been done way better. Like you know. As much as I liked it, there's still like a lot of stuff. I think I already mentioned it, even though I didn't specifically say hate, but like or dislike. There's still a lot of stuff that I didn't like about it, and you know that's fine. And I don't think it ruins the whole story, but mm-hmm. it's definitely like one of those things to look at. Like you know, when I think about it overall, I'm like, oh, that was a good, you know. There's a lot of good parts, but there were also like stuff that were kind of like eh. But yeah, I I still like it. Like it's still, I would recommend it to anybody. And yeah, yeah. What about you? I agree. Overall, and including the ending, mm-hmm. it, I um even if I wish we gotten more for what we have now, it's so beautifully well constructed, well written, mm-hmm. good characters. I rec- I would recommend the series to anyone who loves anime. And I really wish I got into this series earlier as a kid or back in high school. But then again, I feel like if I did, I would be a very weird kid. I would be that weird anime person in school to be like, oh my god, 
yeah, watch this, watch, <laughs> watch uh, this, watch that, or something. You know, those cringy, oh gosh, I remember, I remember some people a lot in high school. Of people. I, I mean, I Great remember school. like I made a lot of friends because of Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. So, That's yeah. nice. Lots of crushes now too, <laughs> also, right? Just one. It's just one. Anyway. Just one. But what did you do? Exposed okay, live. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> this anyway. isn't live. This is pre recorded. It's still going to be there. You know, I'm not going to cut this out. Anyway. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Um. Yeah. I. How do I say this? I really like Attack on Titans ending. I that's I think that's my final thoughts. Like I really wish some things really happened. Like, like you mean really, really like? Is that your final <laughs> thoughts about it? I'm making you question your decision. I'm kidding. Jesus what are you devil's advocate? Okay, me. Um my final yeah. I think I'm gonna lock that answer in. I oh wait, Hanji's dev. <laughs> okay. I'm not okay with that. Okay. I like the ending. Period. There, I'm so, solidifying it with a period. I like the ending because it's, it's you know, even if yeah, I'm hurt with the pain, the deaths. <laughs> it's okay. I'm the author. I say I'm a great, good actor, a good actor, good writer. <laughs> what am I talking? I'm so sorry. He's a good writer, and yeah. It's realistic. I like it a lot, even if people don't like it. For me, the ending oh, was, quote unquote, okay. <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> fine, fine, fine. I can see why it's great. I can see why it sucks. Like, I can see both sides. So that's why I'm like, yeah, I agree. I agree too. About it. But I still like it. <laughs> I still like Fine. I like it. I like it. I like it. I, I don't know. Stop people pleasing. <laughs> Just say your raw thoughts. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you just saying? Okay, are, are you fine. just okay with it, or are you just saying that you like it because I'm here? Or are you saying that you don't uh, like it? Because... <laughs> I give, I guess, two answers. I like it, but I could have liked it more if it was done differently, or you know, I guess we, we could argue how I longer. Like it to be. Or longer. Yeah. yeah, you already said yeah. And yeah, I guess that's it. I'm okay slash like it. <laughs> <laughs> even then, is that even, is that even like oh, a definitive answer? It's not answer? even a final, final answer. No, because like, okay, fine. I'm just like saying, like when I, when I look at the things I like about it, I, it's easy to say I like it. But looking at the things I don't like about it, I guess that, that me- anyway, it's easy to say I don't like it. I guess that means it's okay. Like, yeah, that's answer. It's okay for me. But like, you know, overall, like that's just the finale. Overall, I still really like it. Like the story... Yeah, 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 yeah. Overall, I still really like. I, still I like, love this series. I love overall, the series. I can still have that ending... special place in my heart that I can yeah. like, look back to, like, oh, you know, this is one of my childhood yeah. anime. And yeah. I'm yeah, I. But in regards to the ending, the finale, it's okay. you're like a like okay. It's okay. That's valid for the most indecisive person I've probably seen besides myself. Really. <laughs> For me, they, period, period. Let's end the conversation here. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Guess. Anything else? Any any last like last messages? Uh, things you're gonna miss about the series or anything? Okay. Okay. Like I said before, like when reading the final chapter, it didn't. I hit don't you. feel like yeah, it didn't hit me yet. So it's kind of gonna be hard for me to answer this, but I feel like uh, in due time. I'm definitely gonna miss the characters and the series in general. Like just everything about mm-hmm. it, like the thrill of reading slash watching it. Like that's just yeah. one of those things that you can experience once. So you know, you're gonna miss that, I guess. What about that's you? true. That's true. I really already miss Haji a lot. <laughs> Even if I don't see them in the other chapters, oh god, I really miss their presence. I'm so sorry. I'm like the biggest Hanji stand. No, I'm not. Coming from Anyway. Okay, yeah. I used to stand coming from I used to stand Aaron a lot, but you know. Iagoris. Uh, like... Flock, is that you? Exposed. Okay. <laughs> Exposed. Anyway. Uh, okay. Um but yeah, uh, I'm I attack on Titan. I'm gonna miss this series. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even if I wasn't part of the community for um uh, a long time. Mm-hmm. I 
I liked it a lot. I liked being a part of something while it was still going on. But you know, it's not fully ended yet because the anime is still there. So you know what? Yeah. There's still more. Still the anime. There's gonna be like you know more Attack on Titan, and I won't be surprised if we get a spin-off. Like I think it's gonna happen. I just have this feeling. Like is it spin-off? Much what anime? Levi opening his tea shop? <laughs> never say never, you know. Levi only has seen it. I'd love to see it. <laughs> okay, I mean, okay. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I would love to see it too. It's just that Attack on Titan has had spin-offs before, so you know, I won't be surprised if it happens. So, yeah. yeah. All right. So, mm-hmm. I guess that's all we have for this Attack on Titan episode of Popcorn Chapter. Uh, make sure to check the Popcorn Chatter Facebook page and follow for more updates on the next episode, which I'm so excited about. It's about the phase four of the world hey, to the battle. Why would the... Or wait, isn't this supposed to be a Falcon and the Winter Soldier and the finale of One Division? Okay, for the record, that's basically phase four basically of the four. Marvel but Cinematic Universe. So that's specific. how I phrased it. I want to be, I okay, want to be more specific. specific. Okay, okay. Oh, but yeah, America generally... The Winter Soldier. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, no, six, spoilers! <laughs> I no, I haven't watched it yet. But and you already know... Oh, the, did your friend spoil you? No. No, I just, I just no? really think that... You know, reading some of the comics at least. Uh, I really think... And this sounds like a podcast, but this is not... Have you, wa- <laughs> uh, but have like, you, you know, watched it? Have you watched the nope, not series? A single episode. Not yet? Yes. Dude, you should. Six I episodes, dude. It's will so good. Binge it. I was supposed to remember. I didn't watch like five episodes of One Division, but as it turns out, there's only six episodes of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll just wait until it's all out, and I'll be. I will be binging. It's it. valid. It's gonna be a good, good um binge for you because it's really good. Anyway. But yes, <laughs> the next episode is all about the phase four of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or at least the ones that are out. So it's all about the finale of WandaVision, mm-hmm. the part two that we never got to do at the time of our schedule because of someone I guess. <laughs> so, <laughs> busy <laughs> midterms. Um, and then we're also going to be talking about the entirety of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And we're definitely... Huh? No, I'm just going to say it's a two-in-one episode. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it we break it down, and we'll definitely talk about Loki, or at least the teaser trailers that are out right now. So yeah, stay tuned. Links are in the description. You can find us on Spotify, YouTube, Google Podcast, Anchor, or whichever platform you listen to your podcast. And I think that's it. Yeah. Thank you for listening. Uh, we hope you stay tuned for more episodes. And goodbye. See you next time. See you next time. <laughs>